everyone. It's me, Maria, from the Pueblo City County Library District. You might have hung out with me last week um, and earlier this week, but third time's the charm, hopefully. Grab your lucky rabbit's foot. We are going to watch um, The Great Fairy Tale Mystery, Mystery, sorry, with Megan Casey. In just one moment. All right, I saw a comment, there's no sound. Give me just a minute and we will get that back up.
going to set this one. No. Aiden, Aiden, where are you? Aiden, where, oh, oh, hi. Um, have you guys seen my friend Aiden around? He's a little dinosaur, he's about this big, blue, has green polka dots, big yellow tummy. No? I can't find him anywhere. I'm down here, I'm playing my video game. Your what? My video game. Where are you? I'm in my room. What are you doing playing video games right now? It's like nine o'clock at night. You should be going to bed. No, I, I, I'm trying to get past my level. Past what level? Before I go to bed. What are you even playing on? My iPad. Hang on one sec. No, no, no. What are you doing? No, no, no. You're ruining my level. Oh, come on. No, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> what a mean lady. You shouldn't be playing on your iPad before you go to bed. Oh, well, it's how I fall asleep. <clears throat> You shouldn't be playing on electronics in general before you go to bed. But, uh, I don't know what else to do. I don't know, maybe read? Read? Psh, who does that? I do. They all read. You guys read? Yeah, they read. As a matter of fact, they're reading for some reading program right now. What's that? Well, you read a whole bunch of books and you log your hours. And when you log your hours and you reach a certain amount, you get some sort of prize. That's typically how it works. Ooh. But regardless of prizes, reading is a lot of fun, and you gain a lot of knowledge from it. Well, I don't like any books. I guarantee you would like something. Like what? What do you like to read? I really like mystery books. Ooh, so like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I kind of like that. And uh, Nancy Drew, that's my favorite book series. Really? Yeah, I read that growing up. Well, I don't like anything. You like something. Uh, what type of movies do you like? Um... Uh, I like action movies. Okay, so a book is kind of like a movie. You're just reading the words out of it. Well, I, I don't know if I can read it. I'm sure you could. So you like action movies. Yeah, and I also like stuff with a lot of magic. Okay, um, have you ever heard of a fairy tale? What's that? You don't know what a fairy tale is? No, I have a tale, but it's not a fairy. <laughs> That's not what a fairy tale is. A fairy tale is like a magical story. Oh. Do you have a book? As a matter of fact, I do have a book somewhere. Uh, oh, here it is. Here. Ooh. This is 101 fairy tales inside this book. I want to read it. Okay, here, go ahead. Uh, I don't know how to, um, I don't know how to do this. You mean you don't know how to do this? Well, I only use my iPad at the time. Okay, well, go ahead, read the book. Where are the batteries? What do you mean, where are the batteries? I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> it's not electronic, Aiden. You open the book and you read it. There's no open sign on the book. It doesn't have to be an open sign. Well, it's, tar it's currently closed, so it's closed for business. <laughs> Aiden, you just open the book. I don't know. Just, see? Those are words. I can't read words. Okay, well, do you want me to read the story to you? I mean, I guess. Here, let's go ahead and dive into this. Uh, what's this through story? It says Hansel and Gretel. What's that about? Well, it's about a boy and a girl, and they ended up getting lost in the woods. That's not good. No. Luckily, Hansel and Gretel left a trail of breadcrumbs around, though. Wait, there's some breadcrumbs in here. There are some breadcrumbs in here. Uh, okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. what's happening? I think we're entering the other side of the book. What? Right here, right now, I put the offer out. 
I don't wanna see you run. I know you see it. You run with me, and I can't cut you free. I love the drudgery, the walls you keep in. Such a shot to the call. There's something colorful. Ain't it this crazy? A little, little crazy. You change is sensible. You can't even let you know. Or you can mix it all and see. Don't you wanna get away from the same Oh, thought you thought it play Cause you got what you need So come with me and take a ride And I'll take you to the other side Cause you can do like you do Or you can do like me Oh, can you stay? Oh, you finally set the key Oh, man, suddenly you're three to five I'll take you to the other side Okay, wait So does this mean we're on the other side of the book now? I think we might actually be in the book. All right, let's see. We were starting out with Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel is about a little boy and a girl who went to the forest and uh, they left breadcrumbs along the way so that way they would be able to find their way back. Why'd they go into the forest? Well, they went in there with their parents, but they lost their parents. There's more to the fairy tale, but that's the main gist of it. Well, what happened next? Well, inside this fairy tale, Hansel and Gretel come across a house. Oh. What kind of house? Like a log cabin? No, it was a house made out of candy. What? Candy. Yeah, candy. Why are there marshmallows on it? Probably. For those of you that no don't know Aiden, his favorite food is marshmallows. Uh-huh. If it was made out of marshmallows, I would have eaten it. That's the point. So, it's made out of candy to draw people towards the house. Was there anyone inside there? Yeah, there's a witch. What kind of witch? A sandwich or a witch witch? What? A sandwich or a witch witch? A sandwich or a witch witch? Yeah, like the Halloween witch? Oh, well, uh, there was a witch inside of the house. Oh, okay. Um, um, what, was she mean or nice? Well, she wanted to cook Hansel and Gretel. <gasps> okay, I don't want to go anywhere near this witch. And wait, wait. What? What's that? Uh-oh. Is that the house? It sure looks like it. Oh no. Oh no, 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 this is not good. Okay, okay, just stay calm. How can I stay calm when I know that there is a witch inside there? It's fine, it's fine. Um, let's see, Hansel and Gretel left bread comes behind. Um, I have marshmallows with me. You just have marshmallows with you? Yeah, I keep them in my backpack pocket at all times, just in case there are other emergencies. Okay, well, right now is an emergency. Can you start leaving a trail behind so that way we can find our way back to the beginning of the book, which is right here? Okay, I don't know what's going to happen. Here, I'm going to go check in, out inside the house. Just keep leaving marshmallows behind. Uh, where's, where's it at? Um, well, it's, it's just right down here. Oh, okay, here. All right, we're going to leave a trail. Drop it. Drop it. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you need to drop it because we need to leave the trail. Mm -hmm. Aim. Mm -hmm. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Aim. You just wasted a perfectly good. You just wasted a perfectly good marshal. It's fine. Just leave these around. Okay, let me go check out inside the house, okay? All right, fine. Be careful. Okay. So I went inside the house and explored for a little bit. I found this. It's a witch witch cup. See, I told you it's a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Something's inside the cup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here. He's he's stuck with it. Mm -hmm. Hi. What are you doing inside the witch witch cup? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You're hiding. Mm -hmm. Why are you hiding? Mm -hmm. You're scared of what? Mm -hmm. You're scared that people are going to be scared of you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, why do you think that? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because you have handcuffs on you. Mm -hmm. Why do you have the handcuffs on you? Mm -hmm. So you pass the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a game. Mm -hmm. Okay, but why do you have those on you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was for what? Mm -hmm. Hansel and Gretel. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to handcuff Hansel and Gretel? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know you wanted to have them stay for dinner, but you were going to cook them. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to handcuff them then? Mm -hmm. You're going to handcuff them because no one ever wants to stay for dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you can always ask nicely. You don't need to handcuff someone. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you want to tell them? Mm -hmm. Having a pizza party. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, where's this pizza from? Mm -hmm. 
Red Pizzeria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. You ordered a few days ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a wolf? Mm-hmm. Well, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> red Pizzeria. Mm-hmm. Oh, Little Red Riding Hood. Mm-hmm. So that's who you ordered the pizza from. Mm-hmm. You're afraid she ran into the wolf. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two days? Mm -hmm. Okay, it shouldn't take two pe two days for pizza to be delivered to your house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your what? Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we will find out where this is. Let's take these off, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you placed it two days ago. Where can we find her? Maybe my friend Aiden and I can go on an adventure to try and find Little Red Riding Hood, so that way we can find out where your pizza's at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to go through all the fairy tales to see if we can find Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe she's lost in a different fairy tale is all. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of fairy tales, so she's probably lost. <laughs> we'll go find her, okay? How about you wait inside your house for the time being, okay? <laughs> Bye. What's your name? Hmm. Phil. All right, we'll be back, Phil. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Or, okay, you can stop leaving these for a second. I need to talk to you. About what? Okay, so Phil is the witch inside of that house. Okay. Hansel and Gretel, um, we're gonna go inside the house, inside this fairy tale, but we're Hansel and Gretel in this story, okay? All right, fine. Well, what happened? Phil, the witch, ordered pizza from Red's Pizzeria two days ago. Two days ago? How long does it take for a pizza to get delivered in this fairy tale? I guess a long time. We just need to keep leaving these, and that way we, that way we find our way back to the beginning of the book. If you say so. I just hope we don't get lost. I hope you guys don't get lost either. Who said that? I don't know. Me, down here. The narrator. The what? The narrator. The narrator is someone who tells a story. I thought we are telling the story. I guess there might be some twists and turns that the, that the narrator needs to tell us about. Alright, fine. Do you want to go get him? Yes, I'll go try to find him. Just be careful. I will. Keep, keep close and keep leaving a trail of these. <laughs> Thanks, Hayden. Hi, are you the narrator? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the narrator. Wait, you look like a wolf to me. No, 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 that's in my disguise. Okay, well, I can't see out of my disguise. Your eyes are right there. Those aren't my eyes, you didn't like. Okay, sorry, sorry. Ugh, now I can see. Ugh, hi, guys. Well, you're the narrator? Uh-huh. Well, hi, my name is Megan. What's your name? Schuster. Hi, Schuster. So you're the one that's going to be helping us along throughout this story. Yeah, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. That way you can make it back to the beginning of the book. Okay. And if I'm going to tell the story, I'm going to need something to drink. Why? I thought it's dry. Um, here. I guess you could have something to drink. Here. Are you finished yet? Mm -mm. Okay, that's enough. Do you still have water? Do you still have water in your mouth? Okay, well, swallow it slowly. You might get hiccups. What are you doing to me? I gave you water. No, you poisoned me. I did not poison you. No, that witch poisoned me. No, I doubt the witch poisoned you. Yes, she did. No, okay. Um, hmm. Uh, I need to get rid of your hiccups. Here, feed them to the side. Ooh, I think I found something. What'd you find? I found the donut. Okay, you can have the donut. Get me, you can have the donut. Get me donut. No, I need to get rid of your hiccups. I want donut. Um... How about I hypnotize you? Hypno what? Hypnotize you. What's that? <laughs> Just oh, look deep into my eyes. Deep into your eyes. Not quite so close. Oh, I only want to get to nose you. Here, hold my finger instead, okay? All right. You are getting sleepy. You are getting sleepy. On the count of three, you will be asleep and your hips will be gone. One, ah! two, ah! three. Ah. He's now asleep. Yep, I sure am. Are you sure you're asleep? Yep. Very, very, very sure. Yep. Very, 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 very. Get with the program. Okay, fine, fine, fine. On the count of three, you will be awake and your hips will be gone. One, ah! two, ah! Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. Do you guys have any ideas how I can get rid of his hiccups? This is not good. Um, 
Have him hold his breath. Okay. Uh, can you hold your breath for 10 seconds? Are you nuts? What? You can hold your breath for how long? For 10 seconds. I'm not a fish. Okay, fish don't hold their breath. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They breathe underwater. Like what? They're gills. <laughs> Here, just hold your breath for 10 seconds, okay? <laughs> all right, fine. Okay, we're all gonna count to 10. Ready? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> you okay, she's oh. uh that didn't work. Oh. Hmm. I know. Let's have you hold your breath while you're upside down. Oh. What? She's lost her mind. You can hold your breath while you're upside down. No, I can't. I couldn't even do it sitting up. Okay, just ten seconds. <sighs> Die. Okay, we're all gonna count to ten again. Ready? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh, you're fine. Hey, why are you guys sitting on the ceiling? You're upside down. Oh. Uh, come here. Oh. Um, oh. Hmm, none of this is working. Oh. Uh, how about you try to drink some water? That's how I got the hiccups in the first place. Oh. Here, just drink it really slowly, okay? Here. Go, 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 go. Up. Slower. Go. 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 Go, 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 go. Okay, she's she, she, she. Okay, that's not working. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. What? I, I can't tell you. No, you, you can tell me. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Why not? Because I don't think it'll work otherwise. What's that over there? What's that? Aren't you sure to come out? No. Why not? You guys scared me. That's the point. We're trying to get rid of your hiccups. Please come out. No. Please, no. Please don't. Please don't. I'll give you the donut that's inside the bag. <gasps> give me donut. You want the donut? I want the donut. Okay. Get it. Get it. Uh, Schuster. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. What? I think your hiccups are gone. Okay, that's awesome. This is good news. That means you can go on and tell the story. Okay, cool. Because I think we're on a bit of a time crunch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Well, Bill the Witch told me that um, he ordered pizza from Red's Pizzeria a couple days ago. And Little Red Riding Hood hasn't come to, to deliver the pizza yet. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I do not like fairy tale twists. What do you mean fairy tale twists? This is a whole different story. You guys going to have to use your imagination to make, make it through safely. Okay, what do you mean use your imagination? Well, each fairy tale has a moral. Okay. Or like a message it needs to get across. You need to learn each each message in the fairy tale to make it out okay. You need to make it out okay. Well, if you don't understand the message, then you might get lost along the way. Then that way you then you won't know your way back. Okay, that's not good. We definitely need to learn the true meaning behind each fairy tale. Yeah, you do. Any pointers? Well, if you need any help, just go ahead and holler at me, and I can help you out. I'll guide you out along the way, though, too, okay? All right. Well, we just came across Hansel and Gretel. What's the next chapter in the book? I don't know. Can we look for a second, Aiden? Um. It did Hansel and Gretel. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. You're going to see uh, one of my used-to-be friends. What do you mean they're used-to-be friends? Well, you see, he's a cat. Yeah, a cat. I don't get along with cats. Why? Because I'm a dog. Duh. <laughs> Just because cats and dogs can get along. No, they can't. Why not? Well, this cat likes to trick people. What do you mean he likes to trick people? He's just not nice about it. His name is Puss. Put Puss in Boots? Yeah. How, how do you know that? I've heard about this story lots of times. What is he going to do? Just make sure he doesn't try to trick you into anything. Okay, we'll keep our guard up then. And then, then I found a boot over here. Uh-oh. Here, I'm gonna go get Aiden. Um, can you keep guard for us? Yeah, I'm kinda like the watchdog. Alright, sounds good. See you literally. I am I have a watch on my hand. Okay, thanks, Schuster. Oh man, I have a belly ache. Please tell me you're actually leaving the marshmallows behind. I am, but I'm eating some of them too. Okay, don't eat any of them. We need all those marshmallows so that way so that way we can find our way back to the beginning of the fairy tale book. Alright, fine. Okay, so we have to come across Puss in Boots. Yeah, I found the boot. Where'd you find the boot at? Um, um, oh, there it is. Oh, can you go ahead and drop it for me? Yeah, I can get it. Thanks, Aiden. Oi, ah! 
It's stuck on my head. I'm stuck in your head. Ah, it's stuck on my head. Okay, eat it. Puss and boots are stinky feet. Okay, let's go and get this off your head. I feel like a boot. Hey, come on. Ready? One, two. Okay, one, two. It's stuck on my head. Okay, this is not good. Puss and boots are really stinky feet. Man, I think everyone has stinky feet after having their feet in here for a while. Okay, one, two. Man, bad boot. Okay, we'll put the boot back down here. Uh, God, God, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Did you say that? No, I didn't say that. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Where's it coming from? Wait, I think... Is that a cat? That is a cat coming your way. I'm gonna kick other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out with Schuster. Okay, fine, hang out with Schuster. I'm gonna talk to Puss in Boots. Sounds good to me. Hi. Hello. I am Puss in Boots. I see that you're Puss in Boots. And I cannot see. Don't touch any hat. What? Because it's the only thing I have left. It means the only thing I have left. Look at my feet. Oh, your boots. Yes, they're missing. Don't touch my feet, though. Why? Because they're nice feet. Okay, well, what, where are your boots? Oh, uh, you guys found one boot, right? Yes, we found one boot. What happened to the other? I think that wolf took it. The wolf? Yes, from Little Red Riding Hood. He's in on a rampage. Oh, that's not good. Uh, no, it's not good, and he needs to be stopped. He's in stealing things left and right. Stealing, huh? Yes. Okay, you don't want to steal anything. That's what I said. I learned my lesson when I used to do that and pull all these tricks. Wait, so you're not a trickster anymore? No, I'm not a trickster anymore. That's good to hear. Uh, I haven't seen the wolf, though. Do you know where he may have been? Uh, uh there's supposed to be a pizza party later. Wait, pizza party? Yes, pizza party. Where do you know of this pizza party? It is at Phil's house in Hansel and Gretel. He's the lich. Okay, so Phil's, I guess, having all the fairy tale characters over. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, and I hope that Ulf is not there. What do you mean, hope he's not there? Because he's bad. What do you mean he's bad? He, he just likes to steal things, and he's going to eat the entire pizza. Okay, well, maybe we can stop him before he does anything else bad, or maybe knock some sense into him as to teaching him as to why stealing is not okay. I mean, I guess. I don't know how much it's going to lurk. Oh man, this is not good. Let's go and take this off. Da, da, da. I feel naked without my hat. Okay, well, you don't need your hat on. Oh, well, it, it is the one thing that makes me puss and boots. Well, puss and boots, I promise you will find your other boot, okay? Uh, have you seen where this wolf may have gone? Well, there is also a uh, Jack in the Beanstalk. Jack in the Beanstalk. I think I saw some big furry thing run near a beanstalk. Okay, maybe he might be over there. I be careful, though. Why? There's a big, big giant running around. A giant, huh? Yes, it's very big. Okay, that's not good. That sounds kind of scary, actually. Uh, he will jungle see, tie, so, thumb. All right, so if we hear that, run. Okay. Uh, so that sounds like good to me. Except I cannot run very fast. I mean, you can't run very fast. My feet got tiny. I mean, your feet got tiny. My boots made their legs longer, so now I can't run as fast. I bet you can run as fast. I just don't know. It's fine. Um, how about you just go hang out with Schuster? He's the narrator. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait. The narrator? Yeah. Oh, I do not get along with him. Why? I am a cat. He is a dog. We had a cat dog fight. A cat dog fight? Yes, we just do not get along. Well, I'm sure you guys can make sure you get along. If you're both going to the pizza party, you're going to have to get along. All right, fine. I guess I can try it. Let's put your hat back on. Put in boots. Oh. I look good. <laughs> you do. Oh, man. Uh, I will see you at the party. Yes, I want you to know if we come across your other boot. Sounds good. Bye, my friends. We have to go over to Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk? That one sounds familiar. Here, let's see. Let me refresh my memory in this book. Um, so it says, once upon a time, there's a little boy named Jack. And Jack needed to get his family some money. So his mom told him to bring a cow into the town. And he sold the cow. Ooh, did he sell the cow to Chick-fil-A? No, he didn't sell the cow to Chick-fil-A. He sold the cow to a man in the village. This man in the village had a bag of magic beans. Magic beans? Do you think magic marshmallows exist? <laughs> I don't know, but in this fairy tale, magic beans exist. And he traded the magic be the cow for the bag of magic beans. Oh, and it says his mom was not happy about that. No, I wouldn't be happy if Jack ended up trading a cow for a bag of beans that he didn't even know was magical. Hey, this is a fairy tale. Everything is magical. 
Let's see. He planted the beans in a giant beanstalk crew. Into the clouds. Oh. That's a massive beanstalk. That is a big beanstalk. Uh, then, uh, it looks kind of worn out in here. This is a super old fairy tale book, but from what I remember in that fairy tale, at the very top of the beanstalk, there was a whole other land. Like what? This whole other land had a castle. I live in a castle. You're a dinosaur slash dragon. So yeah, uh, the, inside this castle lived a giant. Uh, what did the giant have? Well, he had lots of stuff. But Jack ran inside the castle and he found a bat. Well, and he found a golden egg. A golden egg? What kind of egg was it? It was a golden goose egg. And when he found the egg, he decided to run out of the castle as fast as he could to try and make it back down the beanstalk. <gasps> Why did he run fast? He's running fast because the giant caught him trying to steal the golden egg. Well, you don't want to steal. Well, he ended up running down the beanstalk and he made it down there safely. Jack went and stole two more golden eggs when, they, when he went to the top of the beanstalk. That sounds risky. It was risky. And since the opportunity was there, he decided to take advantage of it. Why well, didn't take advantage of it? His family was really struggling on money. So he wanted to try and help his family out by getting these golden goose eggs. That way they could have some money. Anyways, the giant got really close to getting Jack. How close? Super close. Jack was running down the beanstalk, and the giant also ended up chasing down the beanstalk. <gasps> did he make it down it in to the bottom of it? No, he did not make it down to the bottom of it. That's because uh, Jack's mom threw an axe uh, towards Jack for him to cut down the beanstalk. And then when they cut it down, it basically disconnected the world that was up in the clouds from the world that was where the beanstalk was planted. Oh, so there's different worlds even inside fairy tales. Yes, there are different worlds even inside fairy tales. Oh man, I wonder if this one's gonna turn into. E si so sun. Man, your stomach is loud. It wasn't my stomach. It wasn't mine, so it had to be yours. Well, it wasn't mine. E si so sun. Boy, in that book, didn't it say the giant went si si so sun? Yeah, it did. It's the giant. It has to be the giant. Hi! Okay, Aiden's fine. No, you, you, you talk to the giant. Oh, thanks. I think I found him. Hi. Oh. Uh, are you okay? No. Who's there? It, it's me, Megan. No, no, no. So, so, I'm the giant. Calm down. It's okay. No, 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 no. I think this giant might be a little scared. Here, come on out. Oh, I don't want him. Come on, come on. Please come out. Come on. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. No, I'm a big scary giant. You're fine. Hey, where did that thing go? Oh! It's okay, it's okay. What is that thing? We're, we're just uh, performing right now. For what? Well, I'm telling a story. Hi. And what's your name? Crush. Hi, Crush. My name's Megan. So, are you the giant from the back, Jack and the Beanstalk? Yeah, I am. I'm just a little scared. What happened? Well, Jack cut down the beanstalk, and I landed down here. I haven't been able to get my way back home. Okay, well, maybe we can get you back home. I was told that a witch could help me get back home. A witch? Yeah, and that there's a pizza party there. So you were invited to the, to the pizza party, too. Yeah. I need your help. Well, we need my help, Thor. Have you seen a wolf around anywhere? Have you seen a little girl running around with the pizza? I've seen a little girl running around with a pizza. You have? Uh-huh. Okay, that, that's Little Red Riding Hood. She was supposed to deliver pizza to Phil's house about two days ago. Oh, yeah, she's been really worried. She looked a little lost. Oh, uh, I think she's somewhere over there, actually. I can definitely... Okay, I, we need to go take a look for her. Well, uh, I'm a little slow now then, but I can catch up. And I was just told to bring this side to the party. What side to the party? This thing. I kind of tickled. Black beans. Uh-huh. Why are they bringing black beans? To put it on the pizza. Ugh. Black beans on pizza? What? It's good. I like it. Okay. Well, I guess you can put that on your slice of pizza once everyone's had their slice of pizza. Oh. Well, I'm just bringing that with. And do you have a can opener? I don't have a can opener. I'm going to go to the store to try and find one first. All right. Sounds good. And also, I have some advice. 
What? I would set up a booby trap to catch the wolf. A booby trap, huh? Mm-hmm. It's going to be the best way to get a hold of him. I think I saw a fisherman's net across the way. We'll definitely go get that. That'll probably help us stop this wolf from stealing everything and making Little Red Riding Hood scared. That's probably why she hasn't made it to Phil. She's running around in circles trying to avoid him. Yeah, that's more than likely the truth. Well, we'll see you there. Bye, Crush. Bye, guys. All right, Aiden. We have to go find Little Red Riding Hood. Where'd you find that? I can't see. <laughs> Where'd you find it? I found that silver over there on a tree. Okay, Little Red Riding Hood is close then. Is that who that is? Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, who made that? Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother made this. Oh, well, that's really special. Yeah, so we should probably give that back to her when we find her. Um, what? That was not me. Sounded like you. No, it wasn't. I think I might be Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood! I know they're here! It is her. Here, let's go. Let's go check it. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I can't see. It's because your cape is all. What is this? Undo this. <gasps> Hi. Hi. So you're Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, I'm behind Little Red. You're a kangaroo. You're, you're not a person like it is in the book. No, I'm a kangaroo in this story. So you were supposed to deliver some pizza about two days ago to someone named Phil. Yeah, he's been looking everywhere for it. Oh, I, I got a little lost. I can see that. Are you scared of someone? There's a wolf that's been chasing me. Oh, I and mean, then he got a hole in me once and I don't know the teacher's inside the box. What do you mean you don't know, you don't know the teacher's in there? I think he ate it. The wolf ate the teacher. This is a problem. Okay, well, okay. Um, um. Uh, man, let me need to do some investigating. Here, let me talk to Cassie. Um, here, go over there. Keep keep laying down marshmallows, okay? All right. Oh. Uh, okay, you can tell me what happened. What happened? Uh, uh, I was running from this wolf. Uh, okay, so you came across the wolf. Yeah. Did you listen to your mom when she told you not to veer off the path? I mean, the wolf just seemed so nice. I, and he said he was really hungry. I thought I would just... I had to give him a little tiny piece of pizza, but he took the whole box, and uh, I just can't find it. It's okay, it's okay. Calm down. Okay, first off, you never want to approach a stranger. He, he seems super nice. Even if they seem super nice. If you don't know who they are, don't ever approach them. And if someone does approach you, go get an adult immediately. Uh, well, I, I couldn't find one. Well, you told me. So now we know um, that we need to try and stay, stay away from this wolf. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, Crush from Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, the giant! Yeah, uh, I see. I saw him earlier. He's really nice. Is he going to the pizza party? You're invited too. You're not just delivering it. No, I'm coming too. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of fairy tale characters here. That means we need to make sure this wolf isn't gonna do anything bad. Yeah, I agree. Oh man, I I don't know what we should do. Um, um, uh. Well, Crush said that we should set up a booby trap. A uh, booby trap. What's a booby trap? It's where we're gonna try and catch the wolf, and uh, he's not gonna see it coming. Exactly. So we're in a forest. Um, have you seen a fisherman's net anywhere? Um, uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's over there. Um, I'm gonna go get that, and we can start setting it up, and maybe we're gonna catch the wolf. Okay, I hope we do catch the wolf. Okay, okay, here. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay. Here, take this. Use this. Okay, so this is the fishing net we're gonna use to set up the booby trap. I'm ready to set up the booby trap! Hey, what do you... Where'd you find that? I found it on the ground. I have an idea. What's your idea? What if we have Cassie or someone wear this? How about you wear this? Wear what? Wear this. And that way, uh, you can just be sitting around the wo woods and then maybe the, the wolf will come across you. And if he sees another wolf, then he might want to start following you. Excusez-moi. What do you mean, excusez-moi? You want a wolf. Yeah? To follow me. Yeah? Are you crazy? What? It'll be fine. This, is, this sounds like a bad plan. I think it'll work. You can run, right? I have the ability after all those partialos. 
This is why I told you not to eat all those marshmallows. Oh man, this isn't, uh. here, just be prepared to run. I want you to wear this and we're gonna lure, lure the wolf into the booby trap, okay? All right, fine. All right, ready, Aiden? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. All right, I can't see you though. Okay, well, you look just like a wolf. Okay, good. I'm not gonna know when to run though. You'll be fine. Let's see. Oh, look at you, wolf. Oh, look at you, wolf. Okay, it's okay. Oh, oh, oh. We got you. I feel like a fish. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep you in here while you're in this. Here. Who put you up to this? You. We, well, the giant told us that there was a fisherman's net that we could use to catch you. Well, that wasn't very nice. Well, what you've been doing isn't very nice. What do you mean what I've been what I've been doing isn't very nice? You've been stealing uh Puss in Boots boots. Oh, well, I just need, needed something to run. You need to ask before you borrow them. And, uh, uh, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? I'm sorry for stealing the boots and eating some pizza because I was hungry. Okay, well you have Little Red Riding Hood, Little Red Riding Hood terrified. I'm sorry. I. I just wanted something to eat. It's okay. I, I heard there was a pizza party later. Oh, so you're going to the pizza party too? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, do you know where it's at? It's at Hansel and Gretel's, uh, fairy tale. It's at Phil's house. That is where, it, that is at Phil's house. <sighs> you have to promise they're not going to eat all the pizza though when you're there. I mean, I guess. Promise? I promise. Plus, I learned a really cool magic trick. Mm, you learned a cool magic trick. It's, it's, uh, uh, here. Do you have the empty pizza box? Yeah, I, I, I have the pizza box. I'm sorry for scaring you, little Red Riding Hood. It's okay. Okay, we can get that pizza box. Pizza! It is pizza. Is that an empty pizza box? I believe so. Yes, it is. Yeah, it looks pretty empty to me. All right, good. Now I can show you what I learned. Wait, what did you learn? Well, don't worry how to land it pizza. I learned this really cool magic trick. What's your magic trick? Abracadabra pizza. What'd that do? Open it up. Let's see if we can get it. Whoa, wait. Ta-da! How'd you do that? It's a, it's a cool magic trick, huh? That is a cool magic trick. So you can just make pizza up here every time. Yeah, I was gonna try and show it to Red, but I guess I scared her off. Well, um, I guess you should have just told her you wanted to show her this trick. Mm, that would have been a cool thing to know as a pizza delivery per person. Yeah, then you can just eat pizza on the way to their house. <laughs> no, you don't want to eat the pizza still, but... That way when you're out of pizza, you can refill it. I guess so. I'm sorry, though, if they're scaring everyone inside the story. It's okay. You just, you, you gotta think about it before you do things. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted something to eat. Well, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? Wesley. All right, Wesley. If you want, I think we're all on our way over to Phil's house to eat that pizza. Uh, can I come? Yes, as long as you promise not to do anything else. All right, fine. I won't do anything else, then. I'm just a worried wolf. You seem a little worried. <sighs> that mask got me. Aha! It was a good disguise then. Yeah, you got me. Alright, let's go get pizza then. Hmm. Hmm? What are you doing? Hmm? I'm making marshmallows. Why? I want to put it on the pizza. Why? That sounds kind of gross. What? It's like a s'more pizza! You want to think this pizza has cheese and tomato sauce. That and marshmallows will not sound good. All right, fine, but there's not going to be pineapple on it, is there? I mean, I like pineapple on pizza. What? What's wrong with you? I also like cream cheese on pizza. Gee, it's not normal. <laughs> it tastes super good. Pineapple and cream cheese on pizza. Oh, man. What kind of world are you from? It's what I like to eat. Anyways, we're back over at Bill's. Um, maybe we should get him and let him know that the pizza's here. All right, fine. And let him know that everyone's outside. Yeah, we have Little Red Riding Hood here. We have the giant here. 
the crush yes we have crush we have puss in boots and i'm also here too oh and also the narrator yep so everyone is here let's make sure phil's ready for, every for everyone to come in hey phil <laughs> here's the pizza <laughs> You want to see it? Uh -huh. Okay, make sure it's the correct pizza that you ordered. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're hugging the pizza. Uh -huh. Are you excited for the pizza party? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I guess we did make it out okay. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Uh -huh. We have to tell you what we learned about each thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then you'll let us get out of the book. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Um... Let me get Aiden. That way we can go over each fairy tale. That way we know what each each fairy tale's message is. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's some good pizza. <laughs> I'm glad that you got a slice. It's good. Man, this is a cool story. I'm glad that we were able to help everyone out in this fairy tale too. Is, is this like every fairy tale? I've never heard of a pe uh, fairy tale where uh, Little Red Riding Hood is delivering pizza, but I'm glad that we were able to help. Well, what do I need to do now? Well, in order for us to get out of this book, you have to tell um, Phil what each lesson is that you learned from the fairy tales. What do you mean what lesson? Well, what each fairy tale taught us that you can use in the real world. I mean, I guess. Okay, so we started with Hansel and Gretel. So Hansel and Gretel were leaving around breadcrumbs. Why do you think they were doing that? Um, um, well, they didn't trust their parents, so they wanted to trust their instincts. Exactly. By them trusting their instincts, they were, they were able to find their way back home safely. Even after the glitch? Even after the witch. And then Puss in Boots. Uh, that one's about trickery. Yeah, you don't want to trick people. No, you don't want to trick people because it's just not nice to do. Exactly. We also have Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, when opportunity knocks, you take advantage of it. Yep. When Jack had the opportunity to sell the cow to get some beans, uh, some magic beans, and uh, he had the opportunity to uh, get the golden egg at the top of the, of the beanstalk. That's exactly what Jack did. And it ended up helping his family in the long run. And they all lived happily ever after. And, uh... Little Red Riding Hood was our other one. Uh, what's with Little Red Riding Hood? Well, Little Red Riding Hood, Red's mom told her not to stray off the path when she was going to visit her grandmother to deliver these baked goods. Oh. And when Red, when Red strayed off the path, Nothing good happened from that. Uh, I guess you're right. So you never want to talk to anyone you don't know. Exactly. Avoid stranger danger. If a stranger ever comes up to you, don't talk to them. Go get an adult immediately. And Cassie uh, found you. Yes. Cassie went and talked to me, and she kept getting away from the wolf because she didn't know him. And that, that's a good thing that she did that. That is a good thing. Uh, so you just have to do all that stuff in real life? Yeah. So each fairy tale kind of has a moral that you can use in real life. Uh, I like that. This, this was a good story. I'm glad you liked it. Hey, I'm getting kind of tired too, but I'm a little ready for bed. I guess you are. Ah. Here, I want to do one song with you though before we go. What song? It's called Do Life Big. Do Life Big. What's this song? Well, you get a good night's rest, you can do that big the next day. I gotta slow down. Stop for a second, take a look around. You gotta take time to hear that little voice inside Say nothing more than you like So spread your wings and fly And my wings, I gotta see Faith to share You are the other dream the I must be So go and do like this Big, I wanna do like this. Big, I found the blue skies. Oh well, I like that. Good, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I do, I do want to do like big the next day, so I better get a good night's rest. I guess it's time for bed. No more iPad. I'm going to start reading storybooks before I go to bed. I'm glad you're going to start reading storybooks. It's always better than being on your electronics. I used to be on my phone all the time before I went to bed, but I sleep a lot better now. Well, I sleep a lot better now since I read a book before going to bed. Oh, well, I guess I'll do the same. Well, good night, everyone, and sweet dreams. Bye, everyone.
And that was The Great Fairy Tale Mystery. I hope you all enjoy this virtual version of the show. I really wish I could have been at your library in person this year to perform, but I hope, hope you're all staying safe and doing well during these uncertain times. Uh, if you guys did like the show, it really helps me out. If you give me a thumbs up on Facebook, you can just type in Rocky Mountain Puppets and leave a review there. It really helps me out a ton if you guys do that. You can also leave a Google review as well. If you just type in Rocky Mountain Puppets on Google. Um, uh, there are a few things I... links. If you go to RockyMountainPuppets.com, there is a coloring book that goes along with the show. If you click on the Kids Zone tab, scroll down, you'll see a button that says Coloring Books. Uh, when, once you click on that, you'll see another button that says The Great Fairy Tale Mystery Coloring Book. Uh, and that's a free activity booklet for all of you to print at home. And it, yeah, it reinforces all the lessons that were taught in the show. If you'd like to see any more uh, performance type, type stuff that I have, I do have a YouTube channel. If you type in Megan Swims 1994, that's M-E-G-H-A-N-S-W-I-M-S-1994, you can find a whole bunch of videos uh, that I, I, I began uploading again recently over quarantine. Uh, things got a little crazy, so I will start uploading here again uh, in the next couple days uh, more consistently. And I also uh, have an Instagram. It's at Aiden the Dinosaur, so Aiden has an Instagram that is right there. You can go ahead and follow that. And then there is also a TikTok that I started over quarantine, actually. Um, I got bored and I just started scrolling through the apps. One thing I miss the most is seeing your guys' reactions. And uh, one thing I noticed when I was scrolling through the app for the first time was seeing that people could react to videos. This is when I got the idea to start posting on there. And my first video blew up overnight. I didn't expect it to, which is crazy. Uh, and I, I just love seeing people's reactions. So if you guys do have a TikTok, my TikTok username is this. I post videos on there day, daily, if not, it'll almost a day occasionally, but it's, it's daily that videos go on there. Uh, anyways, I hope that you are all staying safe uh, though, and have a great rest of your summer and keep reading. Bye guys. Well, that was the great fairy tale mystery. Uh, and I hope if you like it, you'll check out Megan and well, come see us. That was the great fairy tale mystery. I think uh, I'm talking again. I'll stop the stream. Come see us again Friday for Peter Davison doing The Tempest.